Hey guys, welcome back. So gotta get ready with me for y'all today, and it's on this look right here. So, pretty dramatic makeup, and I wasn't necessarily intending for that to happen. I was just kind of playing with makeup, and this is kind of what I ended up with, but I, I like it. It's like something a little bit different. I don't do a lot of super dramatic makeup, especially dramatic eyes and dramatic lips, so I think it's kind of something a little bit fun and different. So I used my Tarte Tardis Pro Palette so you'll get to kind of see this in action. And yeah, we're just gonna get ready together today. So let's get to it. Okay, so I already put some moisturizer and I actually already started applying this too because I forgot to show y'all. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Blemishless. And I've really been liking this the last few times I've used it. I think it's really a nice one. I feel like it helps my foundation stay on longer. I kind of concentrated on my T-zone, but I really like it. I feel like I was like pulling my eye weird when I was looking at y'all. Oh dear. <laughs> For foundation today, I'm gonna use my Lancome Tint Eye Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick, and I wear it in 210 Buff. Yes, 210 Buff. And I'm gonna buff it in with my Delium Tools 957 brush. I'm gonna do like a little T on my forehead. I do a little V with a dot. I don't know why the dot, but I have, you know, like some, I don't know, discoloration on my cheeks. So that's why I do that. And then I just rub it all in. Now I'm gonna apply some eye primer. Today I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And now while that sets, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use my NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade in Blonde. And then I'm also gonna use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. And I'm using a Sephora Brow Filler 100 brush for the pomade part. So I'm wanting this look to be kind of turquoisey blue, so I'm gonna use this Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Aqua Last, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. It's gonna look super blue, but then we're gonna use something else on top of it. So I'm hoping this is gonna come out like I'm wanting it to. We will see. We're experimenting together here. Now I'm gonna go in with my TARDIS Pro Palette and I'm gonna get some of Pro Fresh, Pro Fresh, on a Beauty Junkies Pro Blending Brush. And I'm gonna apply this into my crease and transition area. lighten that transition area just a little bit so I'm gonna get some of Indie on that same brush and basically go over the exact same place just to lighten it hopefully just a smidge now I'm gonna take some of Trendy on a Wet n Wild small concealer brush and I was just noticing you can see the reflection of my monitor in the palette. So that's kind of funny and strange. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of Trendy and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. Well, it didn't turn out quite as blue as I was hoping, so. I'm gonna use a little bit with my finger, see if that does anything. Meh, still looking kinda green. That's okay, it matches my ring, I guess. <laughs> and there's actually very little fallout with these shadows, so I'm super impressed with that, that is nice. Now I'm gonna go in with Glam on a Real Techniques Detailer Brush, and I'm going to apply this into the inner corner of my eye, kind of like the inner, 
I don't know, fourth of my lid. And then also apply that on my inner corner. Go back in with Trendy if you feel like you lost any of that color. And now for just a little bit of added dimension, I'm going to get some of Punk on a Makeup Geek Outer V brush. And I'm going to apply just the tiniest little bit of that in the outer corner, in the outer V with my Outer V brush. And just do a little bit of blending. What happened to my voice? <laughs> my brow bone, I'm going to go in with Classic on just a no-name brush and apply some of that. For my lower lash line, I'm going to apply a little bit of that blue liner and go over that with Trendy and also just a little bit of glam on my inner corner. some liner and mascara. For liner, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in black. And then for mascara, I'm using my It Cosmetics Superhero and Tight Line. Let's take care of these under eyes. I'm gonna use my Voodoo Makeup 10 Years Younger, and then over that I'm gonna use my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I absolutely love this stuff. Like, I have not stopped using it. It's just amazing. It's so brightening. It just covers so well. It's awesome. I'm going to set my under eyes in my T-zone with my NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation in Light 2 Mont Blanc. And I'm using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush for this. And I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation in Fair using my Real Techniques Blush Brush. a little bit of glam when I was concealing so I'm adding that color back in. For contour today I'm going to use my Beauty Junkies powder contour kit and I'm using a Sedona Lace FB05 brush for this. So I'm going to take um, these two shades right here. I've been using this for a while now and I really do like this. It is pigmented but it blends so well. This is nice. I actually want to lighten my inner corners of my eyes just a little bit, so I'm going to get this um, highlighter color right here on my same um, Real Techniques detailer brush. And just apply just a little bit of that. It just makes it a little bit more like bright white versus like super yellowy. You know, I don't know. I was wanting it kind of a little bit brighter. For blush today, I'm going to go subtle. I'm going to use my Clinique Nude Pop and my MAC Angled Blush Brush, something or other. The number has pretty much all but worn off. For highlighter today, I'm going to use my Ofra Beverly Hills highlight, and I'm literally just going to tap my brush 
into all the colors except for the bronze, tap it off because this is intense, and then apply that to my cheekbones. Now you can totally do whatever you want to with your lip. You could go with a nude or something like that, but I'm just feeling something dramatic, like all around super dark dramatic makeup right now. So I'm going to use my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips and Tawny just to get the basic shape of my lips down. And then I'm gonna use this Palladio Velvet Matte Metallic Cream Lip Color. I got this from Octoly. This is in the shade Opulent and it looks pretty dark and dramatic. So we're gonna be dark and dramatic, but I think it'll be fun. really like that color. It's like a purpley wine metallic sort of color. Really, really pretty. Super dramatic, but I like it. So that wraps up this get ready with me. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are thinking about the TARDIS Pro palette. I am super impressed with it. I thought it was really easy to work with. I think the colors are really beautiful and I just think it's a fun palette. I'm enjoying it. So I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know that down below or let me know what other things you've been grabbing for in your makeup routine. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.